strategy. Uh, happy that you joined us today. And we are going to cover a top of uh, pivot points. Before we start, I would like to do a little bit background about so to have a more adjusted information. Uh, as for me, uh, my name is Rowan. I'm uh, trading since 2008 and have recently focused on so-called naked trading or trading without technical indicators. This method includes Fibonacci tools, uh, uh, wave uh, patterns, uh, candle patterns, and pivot points as well that we will examine during today's session. Uh, this webinar is a part of a bigger series uh, that are held every Wednesday. So if you like it, I hope you join us again in a week. Uh, still waiting for some of your responses about who are you, or how are you uh, trading, are you used to intraday trading or some uh, longer term scenarios. By now, I uh, would present the agenda of uh, today's session. We start with uh, pivot points uh, definition. Uh, then we learn how to calculate pivot points manually to have a better understanding of this tool. Uh, then we see how we can actually use pivot points in trades based on live charts. And uh, finally, I will introduce you to uh, several alternative types of pivot points. Okay, then. Uh, in case you have also got some experience in individual trading, you probably know that any winning trading strategy won't be working sustainably without a proven and trustful partner. This is important to be educated, not in trading skills, but in trading conditions as well. So please have a look on features offered by Tickmill. If your broker doesn't ride with such essentials as competitive spreads, created funds and lack of free quotes, you'd better think of it once again. Seems that after a disclaimer page, we are uh, finally uh, ready to start with our current topic. Uh, to start with, I have uh, selected my favorite quote by uh, PhD in finance and economics, Walter Peters, who says, focusing on indicators may be one of the primary reasons that some Forex traders do not make money. Indicators can be confusing, helpful, and just play wrong. So if you are a trader at, on the beginner stage, you probably know about the MICD, RCI indicators, and uh, you have uh, heard about many advices how to uh, mix them together, have uh, uh, trading signals mm -hmm. on hour and four hour charts, and uh, that's it for the winning trading strategy. As a rule, it's uh, not working that far minus in advertisement prospects and uh, that is the idea of non-indicator trading uh, perhaps if uh, uh, general indicators are not working as fine you may probably want to uh, have some additional tools that are not uh, being concentrated on previous performance rather than uh, reflect the actual price action one of the types of uh, such tools is uh, pivot points. Uh, this is how it looks on uh, Action Forex chart. Uh, the uh, pivot points are uh, made as uh, horizontal lines. Uh, you can see that uh, they are calculated uh, every day uh, to the new level. This is why it looks more uh, like a staircase. As for definition, pivot point is a tool used in the forex market to determine actual static levels 
both support and resistance. Unlike historical static levels that have one fixed value over time, pivot point's value is regularly updated based on select time frame. Pivot points are universal. They can be calculated for any financial instrument. It could be currency payer or stocks or index futures. All you need is uh, just a previous bar or candle that you select as calculation basis. In the previous period, you find all the ingredients that you need to uh, use for uh, pivot points formulas. Uh, main of them are uh, opening price, closing price, high and low price. These levels may be technically prepared for any time frame, but most relevant are weekly, daily, four hour and hourly time frame. The most valid uh, time frame for uh, pivot points is daily chart, as uh, most of the day traders are using it and they are following their values uh, very carefully. So let's see step by step how the pivot points are being calculated. The major point uh, is the pivot point itself, which is produced from uh, the highlighted formula. You sum up a uh, high value, low and uh, close levels, and uh, the given number you distract by three. Uh, let's take as an example Euro USD payer, which is the most popular currency instrument, and uh, we'll try to uh, calculate the pivot point for today, 12th of August. So we take the high from yesterday, which was at the level of 1.1088. Uh, then we add uh, 1.0960, which was a low value. Uh, finally, we add 1.1040, that was a uh, closing level for Euro USD yesterday on Tuesday. Uh, we distract it by three and we have a 1.1030 pivot point. On the next slide, we see how it looks on the actual chart. As you can see on the uh, hourly chart, the pivot, uh, it's important to notice that uh, this level is uh, actual for today's trading. That means for 12th of August only. So we select uh, only the recent part of the chart for better understanding. And uh, you can see that uh, in a given example, uh, the price has been working, uh, has been uh, trading for the most uh, today's trading above the uh, pivot line. So in uh, this current example, a uh, pivot point of 1.1030 was working as a static support level. In case you have got some questions during my explanation, please feel free to uh, ask me in chat box. I'm following it attentively throughout the session and would be uh, grateful to have some feedback from you. Uh, the next levels for uh, Pivot Point 2 uh, are daily resistance and daily support levels. We start with the first daily resistance, which is uh, calculated from uh, Pivot point multiplied by two and uh, distracted from the low value. So, in case for uh, today's uh, daily Euro USD resistance again, uh, we need to multiply by two actual pivot level, which was 1.1030, and then uh, take away 
1.0960. As a result, we have 1.11 level precisely. Uh, going to support level, we need to uh, again multiply pivot point by 2, but then take away a high level, which was 188 for yesterday. And then we have uh, the value of uh, 1.0972. This is how it looks on the hourly chart. So the pivot point is uh, selected as a red line. Uh, daily resistance line for today is marked as uh, blue color. And the daily support line uh, is marked as uh, uh, green horizontal line. So the first uh, support level seems to be not actual for today's trading because the pair is uh, actually trading above pivot point throughout the day. The daily first resistance level is more actual. It uh, has been working uh, as a static resistance level, but as you can see by the current moment, it's already been breached. So for today's session, this uh, level is staying valid as an actual support line. Moving further, uh, we have uh, two more uh, pivot point levels, uh, which are daily resistance 2 and daily support 2. As you can see from the slide, they can be calculated by two methods. The first method is to uh, take pivot point and then sum up it with difference between high and low values. Uh, different uh, method of calculation would be uh, distracting the value of uh, uh, first support line from uh, pivot point level value and then sum up it with uh, actual um, resistance value. Uh, the similar calculation goes for uh, second daily support. You can either choose between uh, uh, pivot point distraction from a high low difference or uh, distract uh, pivot point from uh, uh, resistance, first resistance to uh, support, first support uh, levels. Inter interestingly enough, uh, irregardless, uh, regardless of uh, the method that you choose, you will uh, have the same values. So in the case of uh, Euro dollar for today's session, the second um, resistance line is uh, pointed at 1.1158 and the second line is uh, moved at uh, 1.0902. You can actually see that uh, I have uh, already added the third resistance and third support lines uh, which are marked at 1.1228 for third resistance and 1.0844 for uh, third support level. Uh, given the actual situation, the most uh, valid line is the second resistance line, uh, which is put on uh, mark 1.1158 and is working as uh, closest and the immediate resistance for the payer. In case it is breached, uh, according to pivot point two, uh, the price would be going further uh, to the uh, certain level at 1.1228. Uh, in case the price uh, marks up a correction in a uh, different direction, it will move uh, towards first resistance line at uh, 
1.11 exactly. I hope that this part of uh, explanation is clear to you. Uh, I would like to hear some questions for you based on calculations. And uh, just to announce forward, the next part of our webinar would be uh, the description of uh, uh, current market situation on uh, different currency instruments. In fact, I can uh, describe any currency instrument. As you see, I use by default Euro USD, which is the most uh, relevant payer for most of you. But if you have got any special interest in uh, other currency instrument, please write me about it in chat. So we will turn to a different position. I would like to give you some time uh, for thinking about this. And uh, before uh, we move forward, uh, there is a certain question that appears to you. Uh, it seems that the uh, calculation uh, is a bit complex, especially if you are trading multiple currency instruments. You need to spend uh, enough, uh, like, some pretty time for uh, calculating these points manually. Fortunately, there is such tool which is called Pivot Players, and uh, as it uses the same uh, high, low, and closing levels, it's uh, already been calculated automatically. I would like to introduce you to one of the probable uh, solutions, how it's been uh, showed uh, and displayed. I'm uh, turning now to the desktop. And uh, if everything is working correctly, here you would to see uh, the pivot points, which are uh, calculated automatically uh, based on high, low, and closing levels, and uh, given the results. All you need to uh, have an access for uh, such automated uh, pivot point table, uh, you need to Google pivot point calculator and then uh, select from the tool you find the most convenient. Uh, on such resources, you can see that uh, they grab information from uh, multiple currency instruments, uh, both uh, majors and derivatives. Uh, you can uh, update the uh, charts uh, based on the time frame. So we have been uh, describing daily pivot points, but uh, it's also relevant to cover weekly pivot points uh, that uh, have a, a big influence on the current trade. Monthly part points would be more actual for a longer term trades because they are being uh, updated uh, rather seldom. Uh, going to intraday values, uh, you can uh, find useful for yourself uh, for our uh, private points. For instance, uh, current first resistance on uh, uh, for our time frame. Uh, is uh, working as an immediate resistance for euro dollar if you are following this pair and uh, finally the hourly uh, pivot point calculation can give you an uh, uh, some insights for uh, making up your intraday trading um, describing the possibility to uh, calculate the, the pivot points on lower time frames. Uh, technically, it is possible, uh, but the, due to volatility, uh, the uh, updates of uh, pivot points uh, below our limit, for example, uh, 5 or 15 minutes, will be uh, not that relevant because they would have been uh, updated 
every period that means every five or 15 minutes and uh, it would uh, probably give you uh, lots of fake signals so if you are interested in uh, implementing pivot points in your everyday trading the most relevant uh, points to follow are hourly or our daily and weekly time frames once we know how the pivot points are calculated and uh, what do they actually uh, let's find out how we can use them in trading as displayed on the slide uh, there are three types of uh, uh, purposes or reasons that can be uh, used for pivot points. The first one is range trading, the second one is breakout, and the third one is market sentiment evaluation. At the moment I'm uh, preparing uh, my screen to adjust it to live chart. When I'm ready, we turn to actual chart and see how it works. So in case everything is set up correctly, you should be able to see uh, a live chart of uh, uh, Eurodollar. You have uh, previously seen it uh, on uh, screenshots uh, now we will uh, work with it uh, on uh, live so the first given example is uh, range trading the range trading means that uh, you are opening uh, sell position close to resist line and uh, expect the uh, turnaround of the price uh, so the typical example of uh, uh, range trading uh, can be shown here from the test of uh, pivot point. I mark it with the descending arrow. So the price has tested pivot point and 1.1030. Uh, it did two shadow spikes but performed no closing level. And uh, according to range trading, this is a signal to enter a sell trade. So after testing the resistance in the pivot point area, you enter a sell trade and uh, put the stop loss above the pivot point. So the next text, uh, test of uh, pivot point doesn't disturb you. And uh, you hold this uh, sell position uh, until the price tests uh, the following support line. When the support line at 1.0972 is tested, you are able to close the initial sell trade and uh, enter the following one in the opposite direction. Luckily, this example provides us with the examples of uh, two uh, successful range trades. So when the uh, price test support level, you are able to open the buy trade. Uh, after that, uh, you are waiting until the uh, next PE level. In this case, it's support le uh, resistance level um, formed up by pivot point itself, and you close the trade again. In case you are trying to enter the range trade once again, you would probably, you would definitely have your uh, stop loss worked uh, above the pivot point line. As you see, the price has moved uh, further. So that is the explanation for the range trades. Another type of uh, trading uh, means uh, a breakout strategy. 
So uh, when you follow breakout logics, let me change the scale quickly. Uh, you wait until the uh, confirmation of uh, breaking of a certain uh, key level. For example, if we start again from 1.0960 uh, uh, level, uh, you see that the uh, pivot point level is taken away and uh, the price after short test stays above. So such uh, price action uh, gives you the opportunity to follow the trend and uh, enter the uh, buying trade after the range is broken. So for breakout trades, you enter buy order above resistance line after it's broken and you enter sell trade below the support line. When you see it's broken, it's uh, price action is confirmed, so you are sure it's not a false signal. In case of uh, breakout trading, uh, the next level to watch is 1.11, first daily resistance for euro dollar. As you can see, the price clearly breaks above this level, and this uh, gives you another opportunity to enter buy order with the take profit level set at the following uh, static resistance level 1.1158. The third tool of uh, The third tool of uh, uh, pivot points uh, is a general market sentiment evaluation. And uh, today's uh, price action for euro dollar is uh, another good example for it. So you can see that uh, daily pivot point was set at 1.1030 level, and the and since the uh, Today's trading started at uh, at the level of uh, 1.1040. Uh, the price attempted just once to go below the pivot point level. So, in general, if you see that uh, uh, current price stays above pivot point level, uh, it would mean that. Uh, uh, the overall market sentiment is uh, in favor of bulls. In case you see that uh, price is uh, holding below the five point level, the market sentiment is in favor of uh, sell trades. Uh, if the price uh, tests but uh, doesn't um, go beyond the first resistance level, it is uh, likely to indicate that the market is uh, likely to stay in range trading. In case that you see, as today, that uh, first resistance is uh, taken out very easily and the price is uh, going second resistance, uh, second resistance is uh, more difficult to take out from the first attempt. So the more likely scenario at, the, at this point is expecting a correction from it. It can be taken away only in case of a really strong impulse. When the market has no uh, special uh, volatile uh, reason for excessive uh, volatility or trading volume, you can expect that the daily uh, price move won't exceed the third uh, resistance line, which is uh, currently 60 pips away from the current price. And the main point to remember is that uh, uh, pivot point 
is uh, a basic, very efficient uh, indication of uh, the uh, general market sentiment. It uh, may sound for you too primitive and easy to follow that the bulls are in favor in case the price is uh, above uh, pivot point line. But if you have been uh, covering this uh, simple tool since the uh, start of today, you would definitely enter the right side of the trade. Described before are uh, the standard uh, type of uh, pivot point calculation. Uh, but uh, despite it, there is uh, one more, uh, or better to say, few more types of uh, pivot points that can be uh, calculated in alternative ways. Uh, best known of them are Fibonacci and Woody's. So Fibonacci type of pivot point calculation means that you add the Fibonacci ratios uh, such as 38.2% uh, and 61.8% in standard calculation formula. Uh, Camarilla calculation is specific as it uses uh, such multipliers as 1.0833, 1.1666, 1.25, .1 and 1.5. Uh, this formula gives more value to closing price. And uh, the general idea about Woody's is that it uh, helps to uh, adjust the key levels based to closing price and uh, avoid some uh, market spikes that uh, make up high and low values. It is uh, based on the assumptions and uh, closing level uh, should have a bigger value in comparison to high and low values. Uh, finally, uh, the marks level is uh, least known of the uh, given examples uh, and, it, uh, and its calculation is conditional on the relationship between close and open values. So, if the close value is above open level, the formula will have uh, one structure. If it goes vice versa and open value goes higher than close value, then the formula will have a different structure. Let's see how uh, standard uh, calculation uh, goes in comparison to a specific type of Woody's. Uh, the Woody's pivot points are marked with uh, pink lines and uh, you can see that uh, the difference between pivot points uh, based on uh, standard and Woody's calculation is just three pips. Uh, the, and the differences between uh, first and uh, second resistance lines are very close to each other. So as a matter of fact, the general idea and the general positioning of uh, uh, pivot points and uh, major derivative levels stays the same, but uh, it uh, can give you uh, a bit more uh, precise levels. So if you have got an example uh, which um, pivot point calculation method is best to use. Uh, there is uh, no clear definite example or answer. Uh, so the best uh, case is that you compare it uh, by yourself uh, throughout your daily trading and uh, based on personal experience after a few weeks of um, uh, comparison, uh, make up to the idea which of them work better for your uh, trading strategy. Once again, uh, despite the different methods of calculation, uh, actual numbers on daily level uh, differ 
not so much, just three to five pips. And the main thing is that uh, thanks to uh, pivot point presence on your chart, uh, you do not miss these uh, important levels that are being taken into consideration by both uh, institutional and individual traders. Before we uh, come up to a certain conclusion, uh, let's uh, move to one more uh, trading chart uh, to see uh, how these levels are working in the case of uh, uh, different currency instruments. If you have uh, If you have no bias for selecting the uh, level, I would suggest us uh, using the uh, daily pivot points for uh, Australian dollar to United States dollar. Uh, the price uh, has seen a very volatile session uh, after the fundamental news on Yuan devaluation. So I'm uh, turning back to screen sharing mode and uh, share with you screen area of uh, current Australian dollar to United States dollar chart. And step by step, it will add private points to it. As we already know, the major principles of pivot points calculation, my idea is that we use uh, automatically uh, adjusted pivot point levels. If we want, we can take uh, Fibonacci pivots to see how they work. And we start with adding uh, Pivot point for Australian dollar to United States. So the pivot point for Australian dollar to United States dollar for today is calculated at 073.41. We leave it red then. So this is our daily private point. As you can see, in uh, today's session, the price has uh, spiked uh, below this level. But uh, during uh, current trading, the price was able to move back uh, above this level. And currently, uh, pivot point value of uh, 073.41 works as the uh, uh, actual support level. Going further, uh, first line is set at 072.481. Let's put it as green line. And uh, this is a support level. As you can see, during the decline uh, of Australian dollar, it uh, worked for a few hours as a static support level. And afterwards, it helped to uh, provide a bounce uh, after the price was uh, breaking away, taken away. 
the next level to watch is uh, 0 0.7244. And the final one is 0, 0.7184. Let me adjust the chart accordingly. So it's quite obvious to see that uh, support level number two uh, has uh, worked very significantly. Uh, close uh, prices of uh, two four-hour candles uh, have uh, stopped, uh, close and open prices have stopped exactly on this level. And we have seen just a spike price action uh, below this level. So the shadow means the unconfirmed breakout. And uh, from this point of view, uh, it supports the idea that this uh, support level has worked as a turnaround level for Audi USD. Let's make up a resistance line now, what we can learn from them. So the first fence line goes at uh, 0 0.7401. We put it as a blue line, and the price didn't uh, reach it yet. But in case the upside move continues, we can expect that this level would work as a significant uh, resistance line. The subsequent resistance line are 0 0.7438 and 0 0.7498. We can leave it just for reference, because as we see, it's not being actually used. We have uh, already compared the performance of uh, uh, standard uh, pivot points in comparison to Woody's uh, pivot points. I believe it is curious now to compare what are the actual values of uh, standard pivot points for uh, daily um, uh, lines on uh, Audi USD with uh, uh, standard to Fibonacci confirmation. So we are moving now to standard pivot points levels. We select uh, daily time frame and we select uh, Audi USD chart. So for uh, today, based on standard level, uh, pivot point is uh, 0 0.7341. And uh, it is uh, exactly the value of uh, Fibonacci as well, because it's actually calculated the same way. Uh, first uh, support level is at 0 0.7244. And uh, this constitutes to the second resistance line. Uh, second uh, support uh, second support level for Audi USD is the same as the third support level for uh, Fibonacci at 0 0.7184. But actually, you can see that the values are the same. Uh, the same is actual for resistance lines uh, as uh, 0 0.74.1 and 0 0.74. Uh, 98 uh, are the same levels in uh, standard calculation. So if you like a Fibonacci method of calculation, uh, you can uh, stick to it and uh, be aware that you are having the uh, actual understanding uh, and the actual levels for current pivot points.
let's sum up what we have learned from uh, today's session. Pivot points reflect actual static level light support and resistance levels. There are different types of uh, pivot points calculation. Standard, Fibonacci, Woody's, Camarilla, and Demark. The most popular levels are the strongest technically. These pivot points are valuable too for range breakout traders as well as general market overview. I invite you to test this uh, pivot point too as I personally find it uh, very efficient in uh, determining current trades. Once you test these tools on demo account, it is high time to check its performance live. That is the right time when tick mail can help you. Broker offers you a classic account where you do not have to deposit as much and where the trading conditions are nevertheless great. With Tick Mills Classic account, you can enjoy trading with quite a low spread that starts at 1.2 pips on EURUSD. In addition to this, there are absolutely no commissions attached to this account. This is quite an important feature for the beginners as it lets them to focus on, on the market itself without spending time on calculating the profitability due to the commission. I believe that's it for today's session. I would like to thank you for your attention. I really hope that uh, today's topic was uh, valuable and uh, has given you some uh, uh, new data information that can improve your trading. Next time we meet next Wednesday, 19th of July, to gather all previously described tools and uh, set up a uh, built and naked trading strategy which is based on uh, multiple non-indicator factors. As for today, I hope that you have the order and profitable balance uh, with your trading strategy and uh, hope to see you soon again. Bye.